on top of the world right now. Guest room. Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I just got home from a spin class. It was brutal. I felt so good and I was like I'm just gonna start a new vlog off. So good morning. Holy Moses. We're sweaty and also if you watched my last vlog you know I just got laser on my face. Look at this hair. I just got laser on my face. So my face looks crazy. I got moxie and BBL. So basically everything to fix my acne scarring to help with my acne and yeah my face looks crazy but that would be why and i feel so good after my spin class i have a little eventful day today of work we're going to i have a call today i'm like rebranding my business um so i have a call with who's doing that for me um which i've done i think two calls with her now and then i also am going to see the house today so that was a big part of why i wanted to start the vlog because the drywall is up in the house and i'm just like excited to see it because i've only seen the photos that jay sent me when he went and looked at it so yes Happy Wednesday and welcome to another vlog. Also on my way home from the spin class, I got a passion tango tea because I don't have any coffee here so I wanted a fun little beverage. Well actually I do have coffee here. I don't have any almond milk so I didn't make any coffee this morning. But wow, my face looks crazy. Doing a little egg white scramble type moment or maybe an omelet, I don't really know. It always depends on if I can flip it right, if it turns into an omelet or a scramble. But I've got some mushrooms and some spinach in there and then I'm gonna put some pico on top. Throwback to when I stopped eating onions for so long because it makes my sweat smell. But we're gonna have some with my breakfast. <laughs> Not me explaining myself why I'm having onions for breakfast. Stunning. Got some Amazon. I just got done going on a walk, so we're still sweaty and gross. But I got some Amazon packages in. I figured we'd do a little unboxing. Just put so much sunscreen on my face for my walk. Okay, so I've been on an Amazon kick since I went on my little. Why is this so much smaller than I expected? Since I went on the Amazon trip, I've been like following all these people that I met there and they're all Amazon influencers and oh, I thought this was a bag. It's a hat. Oh my gosh. Am I a goofball? Um, but I follow so many Amazon influencers now and I'm like, y'all are, are dangerous for the bank account. Okay, so <laughs> that's so funny that I thought this was like a little clutch because I ordered a bag, a beach bag too. So we'll see how this works out because it seems like it seems like it's a little bent in the wrong direction. Let's see, how's this supposed to look? Maybe this needs to like take its shape a little bit, but because that does not look right. Okay, maybe this will maybe this will take its shape. Cause one of the girls, I can't remember who it was that posted this. It looked so good on her. So it must be like it's a little less crinkled. But I just thought this would be like such a cute beach hat. It's supposed to be like kind of a crocheted type cowgirl hat type thing. And I need to go to the beach more often, but I wanted a cute hat. And also Anna, when we were in Puerto Rico, Anna was wearing a really cute hat. Maybe she got hers from Amazon too. Then I got this dress, and I think this is the exact same dress that I used to have, but I got it in, I think, too small of a size last time. I got it in extra small, and so whenever I'd put it on, it looked so short. 
but I got it in small this time and I just thought this would be really cute. One of the girls had this on when I was in LA and I said, what dress is that? Airdrop me the link and then it said, you purchased this one time. So I guess it's the same exact one that I had before. Okay, so this is the one that's a set. So it's little shorts and I thought these would be really cute over a bikini too and I can already tell I'm gonna really like this and it's a short sleeve shirt button up. So I figured this unbuttoned with a little neutral bikini on underneath or even like a pop of color, I love. We'll have to try that on. Also, I ordered all of these on the way home. I was on the plane for a lot of hours, so that was what caused this purchase. Okay, so I tried to find the matching shorts of this because I wanted the same color, but I couldn't find the same color. So I need to keep searching on this brand Look how adorable this is, but it would be so cute if I could find a matching set of it. Maybe they were sold out in that color, and this feels like such good quality. Actually, this is like very similar to the same style uh, from Lululemon called Sweet Awakenings Bra, and they sold it once and then never sold it again. It's one of my favorite bras. I have it in black and green, and I'll make sure to link all of this, of course. I am definitely back into my Amazon game. That was like my obsession for so long with like Amazon orders. And I got into a Revolve type of a, I started getting more Revolve stuff and I still love Revolve, but it's just so expensive. And then I realized like I really don't wear the stuff often. So for like dresses and whatnot, it makes sense to go through Revolve because they're like really nice quality and they're gorgeous. But sometimes like for basics and stuff like this is just a basic black tea or tank and it feels like such good quality and it's from Amazon. Like girl, why are we spending more than what we need to? And then I also got some pants. I got linen pants in two colors off of Reformation because I got those Amazon ones and I ordered the Amazon ones but they were on back order because on my size. So it took a while to come in. So I ordered the Reformation ones and then my Amazon ones came. I compared the quality. I actually like the Amazon men's linen pants better than I like the Reformation ones. And I think the Reformation ones were like 160 bucks or something crazy like that. So I need to return those. I know I'm horrible with returns, but that's something I do need to return because they look literally identical. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff away. But yeah, this one's supposed to be like a Skims dupe, but it actually feels like it's thicker than a skims top but it still is like that very soft material if you guys i'm gonna link this and if you guys can find matching shorts to this in the same exact shade i got a size small and if i can find matching shorts to this i'll kiss you right on the cheek i'll kiss you uh okay i'm gonna put this stuff away i need to shower and then we're going to sweet green for lunch so i'm excited for that and then after that we're gonna go see the house and then after that, I have my call. What an awesome day. It's 11 o'clock right now, feeling really good, and some sunshine on my face needs to be an everyday thing now. Even if it's just a one mile walk outside, I think it just like energizes my soul. I woke up at four o'clock this morning and I couldn't fall back asleep. So I've been up for so, so long and I thought that I would be like hitting a wall, but once I walked outside, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Okay, here's what the bra looks like from Amazon. I'm super duper impressed and small is definitely my size. And for reference, I'm between a four and a six uh, at Lululemon. Sometimes I'll get four, sometimes I'll get six. Here's the Lululemon one. Here's my Amazon one. This one's a racer back, and then this one is like a little cross back, which is actually pretty flattering, but this is the one that I absolutely love. Like how cute would this be as a set? I don't want leggings. I saw they had leggings in the same color and the same brand on Amazon, but I don't think they have biker shorts. It's just the cutest color ever. And it makes my eyes pop. Here's my outfit for today. Colorful. We've got these pink shorts on, and then this Joa Brown tank and some flip floppies and we're just gonna go see the house and that's really all we are gonna go to sweet green but then i just ate something quickly because we didn't want to be rushed before i have a call at three so we're gonna take our time go see the house and i'm so excited also look at this man rocking the facial hair have you ever seen someone have so many different facial hair styles in a matter of a year and rock them all and he started with a stash. Yeah, you like the stash. I did. Well, I didn't know any different. <laughs> <laughs> we went baby face, then we went beard, and now we're at goatee. We've done it all. Done it all. 
Here's where we're gonna do all of our cooking. <laughs> Here's the shower. It's gonna be just like the one I have right now where it has the wet bath. Can't you just envision it? <laughs> and then two shower heads. Here's the Jack and Jill bath. Guest room. One of these is gonna be a guest room. And then another closet. Yeah. And that's the one that will go out to the outside too. Yeah, it goes out so it'll be when the pool's there. Uh, it'll just be like a, you know, can use it for the pool as well. Rather than tracking water in through the. And I'm pretty sure all this, yeah, I mean, it's going to be tiles. And then a closet right here. Just got my second stirbs of the day. Jay got his cold brew. And we headed home. We just looked at the house and oh my goodness, it looks so cool that we can actually walk through the rooms and like see what the closet looks like. I got a couple clips, but I was like walking through it starry eyed, just thinking, oh my gosh, like so soon that's gonna be fully furnished. It's going to feel like a home. And then we were able to go through like where the closet was and the laundry room and able to like actually kind of tell what it's gonna look like. Last time I was there, it was just kind of the bare bones. You could literally walk through the walls and I'm just so excited. That was pretty cool, huh? Jay had already seen it, but I was excited to see it. And cheers. Cheers. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's fogging up my camera screen. One second. Oh my gosh, so I air fried these suckers, some 93.7 patties, and then I air fried some veggies. Dinner coming up. Look at this, holy Moses, this looks good. I put some pico on top, put some salt and pepper on there, and voila, it's so nice out. So I'm gonna sit outside and just enjoy the nice weather. It's not too hot. It's actually like 90 degrees, but it doesn't really feel like that, because I've got a nice little breeze from the Wata. Ugh, I forgot a fork. Okay, I'm in my office doing some computer work right now, but I just got off of my Zoom call with Hannah, which she is who's helping me rebrand my business because when I launched my business a couple years ago, I guess it's been three years now since I made my website, since I launched online coaching, since I kind of started social media in general, uh, that the, the logo has served its purpose, but it is outdated at this point. My website has been really easy to tweak over time, but I just want to rebrand all of my colors of my website. I want to rebrand all of the things that go into my social media. And so it was really great being on a call with her, but that brings up my sponsorship of today's video, which is Squarespace. And Squarespace has been my ride or die, which is amazing, has been my ride or die for over three years now because when I had someone uh, design my website, I told them I want something that I can do myself. Like I want the initial thing, you can help me set it up, but it needs to be something that I can tweak over time because I'm always selling programs. So I have services that I sell on there. I also have so many different links that I do for my socials. And then also I have forms going through there. So I have like my initial form for my clients they need to go through here every single time they need to re-up training. And so my website's being used all of the freaking time and it needs to be easy for me to change and not have to have a middleman. So Squarespace was what she had said to do and obviously I knew nothing about websites at that point. I just knew I'm kind of technology challenged and so it has been a lifesaver. I've been able to do everything. She has only had to probably even touch my website once in three years because I've been able to change things on it week in and week out. I can do it on my phone. I can do it on my computer, but I figured I would show you guys what I do and what my website even looks like because a lot of y'all are either doing stuff with social media. You have a blog, you have some kind of product or service you're selling. And this is what my website looks like at cineamsfitness.com. I've got my social down here, my Instagram. You can go to shop my closet and you can see my links here. And I also have train with me, which my new clients go through here and my continuing clients go through here. But Squarespace, where I go through to manipulate all of this is the easiest user-friendly situation ever. 
This is the screen that always comes up in my bio on all of my different uh, social media platforms. So I'm able to tweak this and change it to what I need it to say, whether, you know, lemonade just started happening. So I was like, I need to add that to my socials on here. I need to have all of these down here where everyone can find everything in one spot, but also I'm an online coach. So I need everything where you don't have to go searching for it. And I just absolutely love how easy it is for me to just go on here, edit, change the buttons, add different links to it. And it's, I mean, it's about as simple as it gets, but also looks super professional. And I actually get tons of compliments on what my website looks like, asked who helped me and what platform I use. But I think what I'm using Squarespace for, it just scratches the surface of everything that you can do on there, no matter what your business plan is, no matter what you're trying to do, whether you're trying to send out newsletters or blog or sell products or services, it's amazing. And if you're looking to start a website, you can get 10% off your domain or website with squarespace.com slash Sydney Adams and thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We're in our stretching era because both of us suck so badly at stretching and we're just not intentional with it I guess I would say and we're like just starting to run more often because we've been doing group fitness doing berries and whatnot and both of us feel like our hips are dying. Whole body. Whole body. So we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little stretching situation here, and this is where we'll be, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning because all that's going on is just stretching, pajamas, bed, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. About to go to a berry class, and Jay's going with me too, get a good workout in, and then I think we're going right to Sweet Green after, which I'm excited for that for a little lunch. We're doing a 9.45 class. Here's what I got on. I've got a flow Y bra on, aligned shorts. I had a therapy call this morning, which I do on Thursdays. So that went really well. And then now I'm feeling good, ready for an awesome Thursday ahead. So good morning, guys. Also, let's make a pre-workout. I had a couple roommate shakers that I could do my pre-workout in, but I don't know what the heck I did with them. How do those go missing? I don't understand. Okay. Pineapple passion fruit. Open up a new can. Got some sweet green for lunch. I got the harvest bowl, but then I got the chipotle salsa, which I had this last time, and it is so good. I think I like it better than the vinaigrette. That's chicken, sweet potatoes, some rice, and then they also have Olipop at sweet green now. So heck yeah, I got a vintage cola one. Tastes so good, post-workout meal. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this, and then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Whenever we're in Hyde Park, we're like, well, it's only right that we go into Lululemon and just see what they have. <laughs> they stopped doing like double lined on every colored pair of shorts and it was the best thing ever. So I'm gonna get these two. I don't have a sports bra to match this, but I am excited about this matching set right here. Look how cute. About to go do a little bit of furniture shopping and look around. So here's my little outfit. I've got these Amazon linen pants, which I have them in white and in like the, I guess beige color. I don't know. And I absolutely love them. They might be like my favorite pair of pants right now and they're men's pants. So that's kind of funny. And then, and I think on Amazon they're like men's beach pants or something. I'll make sure to link them. But then I have my little Birkenstock flip flops and my YSL, and then this is a shirt from Reformation, and then my lovesick hat that says lovers. All right, we just left Starbs. I've been on a Starbucks kick in the last couple days, but I got my Passion Tango. 
she back. Jay got I got my cold Venti brew. cold brew. Nothing in it. Yeah, which we should have just gotten cold brew at Publix. We're going to Publix to grab his groceries. And we do, we probably should have that at the house, maybe. Yeah, because the um, protein coffee is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, we forgot to freeze anything for our Ninja Creamy. No, I didn't. Oh, you froze something? Wow. Got you, baby. Ice cream kick. But we did a little bit of browsing around. I get so overwhelmed trying to decide what kind of furniture I want in the house, which it's like. So much. There's so many different options, and then I was looking at this bed. I'm like, I love this bed. And they're like, you actually can choose any color on this entire wall. And there were what, 400 colors on that yeah. wall? We narrowed it down though. Yeah. Right now we're just focusing on. Yes, you're right. So focus on a couple rooms. Like the living room is definitely my priority, which we do have the couch. So like if we want to keep this couch, here's my thing i love it i think it's like the coolest couch ever but it feels so lived in so quickly but also i don't like how i can't have a coffee table right now but i think that if we just take away one of the um ottomans then we can put a coffee table in there and then maybe some like side chairs to kind of break up the room a little bit so that's an option and then also just need like a dining room table which i've never bought a dining room table before so Got to try that. Found a couple chairs that I like. And then when we were looking at beds and looking at fabrics, we found a couple, we found honestly a bed that we really liked. And uh, we know around what colors we want. So it's just a matter of ordering things because at this point, by the time it's in, we're already gonna be in the house. And it's just a lot. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just overwhelming a little bit, but exciting. Overwhelming but exciting. So that's a little update what we've been up to. I have a call at 2.30 so I originally was on that call yesterday uh, for my website and it got cut short just because she had a tornado so of course we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna reschedule but uh, we're gonna do that today and then I also have a client call today which is with all of my clients and I'm really excited for that because it's gonna be my first time doing that as a group call with all my clients. So kind of nervous, kind of excited and yeah that's my little update so successful little thursday so far Good feels stuff. like a friday or saturday doesn't it definitely friday vibes <laughs> friday vibes i'm for not sure. complaining though i love it i know we normally like run our errands do stuff like this on fridays so i'm loving it too <laughs> tip for making your smoothie thicker without even realizing it you add frozen cauliflower so i did frozen strawberries and frozen cauliflower and it makes it so thick like that is a honking smoothie right there got my veggies a little bit crispy like always but some broccoli some carrots and then some 93.7 little patties and then i'm gonna microwave this rice and quinoa about to do my client call and with all of my clients and i have this light right here it makes it so nice on screen i just did a test with jay to see how it looked i actually got it to have for makeup but then i realized like it doesn't just stand on its own it goes on a desk so it's perfect if you do anything for zoom calls and it looks it makes a world of a difference to have good lighting i did a call earlier with the girl to make my with hannah to do my branding and everything and i was like wow this looks awful i need to figure this out and I actually still had this because I wanted to use it for makeup. So I will link that if you do any kind of Zoom calls or anything you need. I'm feeling just on top of the world right now. <laughs> I really am. I just had a call with my clients and obviously it's a Thursday night and it was at five o'clock. So like not everyone could make it, but actually really good turnout of everyone. Uh, I have a good amount of them. And then I'm also doing one tomorrow and for like the remainder of the girls or whoever can make it tomorrow at noon i'm doing that one and i just had this like flow of yeah i'm doing exactly what i'm supposed to be doing like i'm built for this i know that like i'm meant to be a coach and like i think that like pouring into people and like being i know that i wanted to be a teacher for so long uh before and like growing up i always thought i was going to be a teacher and like being a babysitter i always felt like i just thrived off of that teacher student type feel and then when I started doing coaching I was like this is combining my feeling of being a teacher but also being 
a coach and like motivator, but then also brings in my health and fitness. I just got off that call feeling like I'm on this like high. And I think that that's the same feeling that I used to get when I would do spin classes because I just like loved the energy and I loved kind of like helping people and, and coaching, I guess, in general. So, and even the one-on-one -on -one training that I used to do in person, I used to get that like feeling where I wouldn't get tired doing it all day long because I just get a high off of it. So that was good. I think that was the UPS guy that just got here. Thank you. I always do that. Sometimes I'll yell back. <laughs> also, don't forget to check out Squarespace because I'm going to have that in my description. We talked about that yesterday. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all. I adore y'all. And I'll see you guys next time.